I received a direct message on Instagram from a vegan, nevertheless, who noticed that John Venus, who's a vegan bodybuilder, had posted an Instagram story with what appears to be a carton of eggs in his refrigerator. This vegan, as you can imagine, was pretty upset, claiming that he doesn't like liars, not too happy about the situation if he reached out to me, you know, a carnivore meat-based dieter who criticizes vegans on a regular basis. Now, this may or may not be a carton of eggs, but I am convinced that John Venus, as well as other vegan bodybuilders, are lying and misleading their viewers. It's just like everyone else in the fitness industry. You have an elite group of people at the top giving everyone else advice, you know, who they're all looking up to, and this person clearly looks better and must be doing something differently than everyone else, yet none of them seem to have any sort of special knowledge that makes them stick out from the rest. It's a very cookie cutter philosophy and approach. Eat plenty of calories, lift weights, be consistent, and you will get muscular, but that is far from the truth. Different people respond to different types of training, and there seems to be little focus or understanding of this variance. Also, stuffing your faces with calories may work for some, but not for others. And I have a lot of personal experience with this in the past. You know, there's a lot of people just spouting, oh, eat, get in the gym, and it didn't work for me. These vegan bodybuilders are in the same position as these other fitness influencers. They appear to be doing the same thing as everyone else, yet they look so much better and are preaching positive things about what they're doing. You have people like Nimai Delgado, for instance. What's going on everyone? John Venus here. I am joined with a friend today, Nimai, and uh, he is actually a pro physique competitor. Tell, tell him a little bit about yourself, man. My name is Nimai Delgado, AKA the hardcore herbivore. I was raised on a vegetarian diet since birth, so I've never consumed any kind of uh, fish, any kind of chicken, any kind of beef. A couple years ago, I decided to convert to an all plant-based diet, and at that same time, I decided to uh, compete in competitive bodybuilding and use that as a platform to enlighten people, educate people that you can compete on a plant-based diet and do well and compete against some of the best guys in the world. And only after you turned vegan, that's when you saw the most amount of gains, right? Yes. Yeah, so basically 90% of your gains came from a vegan diet. Yeah, exactly. It's like the experiment that people are actually you know, looking for. One yeah. of the first comments people make is, oh, but when did you turn vegan? So yeah. you only got that way uh, exactly. by eating meat and then now you're just slowly depreciating all the gains yeah. you made when you yeah. go on a vegan diet which is completely false yeah and I'm living proof that you know you can build quality muscle mass in a short amount of time uh, naturally yeah. the key thing there naturally yeah. on an all plant-based diet would you be able to you know progress more rapidly build more muscle mass if you were to all of a sudden incorporate meat into your diet no <laughs> no I think that my body operates at a much more efficient level mm -hmm. uh, on a plant-based diet than it would if I ate meat. And yep. that is for several different reasons. You know, when you consume a high amount of vegetables that are very uh, nutrient dense, your body uses all of those nutrients and vitamins to efficiently transfer things to where they need to be at a cellular level. When you put meat into your diet, uh, it's very tough for your body to, it's a lot tougher for your body to process. That's why we have to cook meat. That's why yeah. it sits in our intestines for a long time. You, yeah. you hear stories of people uh, getting some types of cancer for just a lifetime of eating very hard, harsh meat. Yeah. And exactly. if I were to incorporate that now, from a lifetime of not eating meat, yeah. <laughs> I don't think my body would operate the same, the same way. Nimai Delgado claims to have been a vegetarian since birth and has adopted a vegan diet being completely plant-based several years ago. So I guess we could say that meat has never crossed his lips, huh? Uh, but next to John Venus, another vegan bodybuilder, there is a clear difference in the level of muscular development. It's unlikely that this body is achievable without steroids in general, let alone as a natural vegan. You, know, you couldn't achieve this physique 
regardless of what you ate, even if you did take steroids for some people. We also know that all pro physique competitors, uh, which is a division in bodybuilding uh, that was created several years ago, uh, this is what Nimai competes in. Every single person is using performance enhancing drugs in these physique competitions. Uh, they do have natural physique competitions. In fact, I did one myself back in 2015. And when you look at the pictures in these natural physique competitions and compare them to the open men's physique, it becomes very obvious. Uh, but hey, steroids are vegan as they are made from yams. Uh, the actual testosterone extract is from a potato, uh, essentially. So I guess he is still technically plant-based. Nimai mentioned that plants are nutrient dense and therefore help the body's metabolism on a cellular level. But if he actually had an understanding of nutrient metabolism, he wouldn't be a vegan because of the lack of bioavailability and absence of nutrition in plant-based foods. And this becomes painfully clear if you actually look into the digestion and absorption of plant-based foods versus animal-based foods. Claiming that meat is tough to process and it sits in your gut for a long period of time is actually an explanation that your body is taking more time to absorb the nutrition from animal foods, the vitamins, the minerals, elements, and fatty acids your body needs. Meat moves slowly through the small intestine because we are absorbing more nutrients from meat than we are plant-based foods. And we absolutely do not have to cook meat. Every single group of hunter-gatherers ate raw meat in some capacity. Bringing up meat and cancer is another blanket term with no scientific backing. The fact that people treat it as gospel is a result of being brainwashed over dozens and dozens of years that meat is bad for us. What gives these people the incentive to lie so much? Some juice head bodybuilder uh, promoting a lifestyle he knows isn't going to work for people. You know, okay, the guy's trying to make a living. You know, we know what's happening. You can't really admit you're using steroids because they're illegal. I can understand that. And at the end of the day, I still think these people have no integrity whatsoever. They don't have to directly say that they're using steroids, but some of these people adamantly claim they are natural. Natural. It's something that's much bigger than, you know, the vegan community, any, any sort of diet community. This is something that's been present in fitness and bodybuilding for a long period of time, uh, except this time the vegan diet is chucked in there and that's just creating another fairy tale of what's realistic. Let's take a look at some other popular vegan YouTube bodybuilders. The first clip here is John Venus in March of 2015. He has a decent level of muscular development, obviously good genetics as well as frame for bodybuilding. Uh, when we see him in this next clip, four years later in June of 2019, he doesn't seem to have made any considerable progress from a hypertrophy muscle gaining perspective. Uh, the same thing can be said about Simnet Nutrition. You know, here we have a clip of him from December of 2015. He looks good, you know, decent level of muscular development, uh, pretty lean, and has been doing calisthenics for a while, body weight exercises. When we look at a clip from March of 2019, almost four years later, there seems to be no progress made in overall body mass. On to vegan gains. In December of 2014, vegan gains was fairly lean and had a beginner level of muscular development. When we take a look at November of 2018, about four years later, he is bloated, puffy, uh, seems to have made little to no progress in lean body mass. I also watched a recent video of his where he bench pressed uh, 300 pounds, but with four years of training, that's a fairly low amount, especially considering his body weight. And last, we have Brian Turner. Brian Turner was known for using steroids, uh, and in April of 2014, he had a fairly high amount of muscle mass. He was suffering from bad acne for most of this time. In June of 2018, four years later, yet again, we see a decrease in overall muscle and body mass, making it very clear not one of these very popular vegan bodybuilders are capable of putting on muscle mass. 
the body cannot build muscle and recover on a vegan diet. Without animal protein and nutrients, you are simply trying to get back to baseline. When you work out and stress your muscles without consuming animal foods, you are just burning calories, not building muscle or strength. If you start here and you work out, you know, your muscle tissue breaks down, you have to recover, and when you recover and you have adequate animal foods, you put on extra muscle, you gain muscle. As a vegan, without these animal products, you are lucky enough to get back to baseline. Now, can you build some type of beginner level of muscle mass and strength on a vegan diet? Possibly, but if you take a look at any vegan who doesn't work out, they look like string beans. Uh, I've interviewed about four or five women over the past year who went vegan to carnivore, and every single one of them put on at least 15 to 20 pounds of lean body mass after simply consuming more meat in their diet. The body is not capable of maintaining a healthy amount of tissue in general, let alone muscle mass. Imagine what is happening to their organs. You know, they probably look like a gray corpse on the inside. Uh, but thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please like the video, subscribe, hit that bell icon, and share it if you can. If you guys would like to support me further, just check out some of the other videos on my channel. Recently, I've launched Frankie's Free Range Meat. My goal being to provide you guys with high quality, nutrient dense animal foods at an affordable price. So go to frankiesfreerangemeat.com where you can purchase grass fed beef, organ meats, raw cheeses. We've recently added pork as well as chicken. Keep an eye out for fresh beef and fish this week, ladies and gentlemen. I've also launched Frankie's Naturals, minimal ingredients, minimally processed hygiene and cosmetic products, such as aluminum-free deodorant, fluoride-free toothpaste, uh, Frankie's Bull Grease, aka Vitamin D3 Moisturizing Cream. So if you want to get a nice even tan, or maybe you want your pearly whites, or your hair to look like Mr. Cement over here, I also do have hair pomade. So go to frankiesnaturals.com, check that out. Thanks again for joining me today, guys, and enjoy the rest of your week.